Good morning, my dear children. How are you doing this morning? Great, isn't it? This is Teresa Teacher and I am back with an interesting topic. Ah, I am not going to tell you this time what lesson it is. But before that, children, I am going to tell you a story about a little boy named Rahul. Are you ready for the story? Yes. So, Rahul was a very obedient child and he always obeyed his parents. It was morning time. The bright golden sun peeped out of the sky and the rays of the sun were beaming through Rahul's window. The chirping of the birds could be heard all around. Suddenly, Rahul heard a voice. Wake up, Rahul! Rahul, wake up! It's seven o'clock. But who was that disturbing Rahul when he was sleeping? Hmm, yes, it was Rahul's mother. Rahul woke up and greeted his mother. Good morning, Mama. Rahul's mama said, Rahul, you have to do your work on time. You will not waste time at all. Now go and brush your teeth and wash your face. Rahul freshened himself. Again, he heard mother saying, It's Breakfast time! Rahul had his breakfast with a big smile. Once Rahul was done with his breakfast, Rahul's mama said, Rahul, it's homework time. You have to start doing your homework. He listened to his mother. At 12 o'clock, Rahul's mama called out to Rahul. Rahul, it's lunch time. I have laid your food on the table. Rahul's mother said, Rahul, please don't forget your online class time. It's at three o'clock. Hope you remember. So keep all your things ready. Rahul kept wondering, Mama keeps telling me to do things on time, time. What does she mean by that? Rahul went to his mama and asked, Mama, can you explain me what do you mean by time? Oh, yes, Rahul. That's a very good question you asked me. Please sit down and I will explain it to you with the help of a clock. Rahul, I'm going to show you your class teacher's video wherein she has explained the concept of time. Have a look at this video. So, this is a clock. A clock has three main parts. The first part is called its face. Its face. You have a face. Are you a clock? No. The face on the clock, it's a little bit different. It's round part of the clock. The numbers 1 to 12 appear on the clock's face. Now look here. You will notice that both hands are spinning in the same direction. We call this clockwise. So, from 12, we go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, and back to 12. So the clock has two hands. Now these little pointers are called hands. Wait a minute. You have two hands. Are you a clock? Hum, no, right? So you are not a clock. They do not look like the hands that we have. But these are the hands for the clock. Now, there are two hands on this clock. And can you tell me if they are of the same size? The hands on the clock are not of the same size. Now look here now. It has a short hand and a long hand. They do different things. The short hand tells us what the hour is. Like if you have ever heard mom and dad say, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and it's time to wake up from your bed. Hmm. So I give you one more example. Mommy says, it's 5 o'clock, it's time to play in the garden. That's what the short hand does. It has another name. Maybe some of you have two names, your regular name and nickname. So the shorthand has two names. Its other name is called the hour hand. So remember, I said that the clock has two hands. The other hand on my clock is the long hand. And it is also has a nickname called the minute hand. Now, can you repeat after me? By pointing out to the long hand, it is the minute hand. All right, let's repeat once again. So, our clock has three main parts. One, two, three. So, the first one. It has the face. And what's the second one? It has the short hand, also called a hour hand. It shows the hour. A day has 24 hours. So the hour hand completes two rounds in 24 hours. So, what's the third one? It has the long hand, also called a minute hand. So, now you have learned all about the parts of a clock. Okay, so let's start with the hour hand. That's the short hand. This will indicate what hour we are in. Now, for example, take a look at this clock. My hour hand, our hand is the short hand, is on four. And the minute hand is on 12. So this means the time is four o'clock. So we read it as four o'clock. Right. Let us see the time once again. Now, my short hand, that's the hour hand, is on 9. And the long hand, that's the minute hand, is on 12. So, we read it as 9 o'clock. Great! Well done! So, Rahul, I'm sure your class teacher's video has helped you to read and understand time. So, Rahul was very excited and he tells his mama, Yes, mama, by watching this video, I am able to read the clock very well. Can you check out with me if I, can, if I understood the concept of time? Mama replies, Okay, Rahul, let me get my clock. So, what time is it? Rahul keeps thinking. 
It's seven o'clock. Perfect, son. Okay, now let me go to... Okay, what time is it? Rahul keeps thinking. Oh, this is very easy, mom. It's three o'clock. Wow, very good. Okay, one more time. Okay, Rahul? Um, now you tell me what time is it? If the short hand, that's the hour hand is on 10 and the long hand is on, minute hand is on 12. So it is 10 o'clock. Wow, too good. Okay, now tell me what time is it? It's 4 o'clock. So Rahul replies to his mummy. Wow, mama, I have learned to read my time. I have understood my lesson time. Look, mom, look at the time. It's, it's 3 o'clock and it's time for my online class. Yay! So, my dear children, now it's time to end my lesson. I hope you all understood the concept very well. So, keep practicing time with your parents. So, bye-bye, children.